Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to Relax and Read with Mrs. B. This is part two of Why Am I an Amphibian? So go ahead and grab a comfy spot and we'll dig in. So what do our little frog friends eat? Red-eyed tree frogs are carnivorous. This means that they eat other animals. These other animals are the red-eyed tree frogs' prey. When the frogs are small, their prey includes tiny insects such as fruit flies. When they are fully grown, red-eyed tree frogs eat larger insects such as grasshoppers. Sometimes they even eat other frogs. Hunting. A red-eyed tree frog hunts at night. It waits quietly on a branch. When an insect comes near, the frog shoots its tongue out at it. The tongue moves fast and its tip sticks to the insect. The frog then pulls its prey into its mouth. Some frogs do not have tongues. These frogs hunt for their prey underwater. A red-eyed tree frog swallows its food whole. Doesn't chew like us. It uses the teeth on the top of its mouth to grip its prey and keep it from escaping. Senses. Like all amphibians, a red-eyed tree frog has senses to let it know what is going on around it. Seeing and hearing. A red-eyed tree frog's large eyes give it an excellent sense of sight. Large eyes help the frog to see prey move in the darkness. A red-eyed tree frog has two ears, one on each side of its head. With these, the frog can hear other frogs calling. Taste and smell. A red-eyed tree frog has taste buds on its tongue. If the tongue strikes prey that has a horrible taste, the frog will let it go. The red-eyed tree frog also has a sense of smell. It can use this sense to tell whether or not food is safe to eat. Touch. You may have noticed that if you touch a frog, it will jump away. This shows that frogs have a good sense of touch. Mating. In the rainy season, between October and March, male and female red-eyed tree frogs come together to mate. That just means to make babies. At mating time, male red-eyed tree frogs begin calling from leaves low in the rainforest. The males are calling female red-eyed tree frogs to come to them. They make a loud sound in their throats. The sound is kind of like a baby's rattle. Attracting a mate. Most male frogs and toads make sounds to attract females or to make females come to them. Different species make different sounds so that females know which male is which. Getting ready to lay. When a female red-eyed tree frog reaches a male, the male climbs onto her back and holds on tight. The female holds on to the underside of a leaf with her sticky toe pads. Now she is ready to lay her eggs. And here's a fun fact. The male red-eyed tree frog is smaller than the female. Eggs. The eggs come out of the female red-eyed tree frog's cloaca, which is an opening in her bottom. It may take a day for the female to lay 50 eggs. The eggs stick to a leaf. Like all amphibians, the red-eyed tree frog's eggs have no shell. This means that the eggs must stay moist or they will dry out and die. Red-eyed tree frog eggs have a jelly coating that keeps them moist. Growing. As the female red-eyed tree frog lays her eggs, the male fertilizes them. An embryo begins to grow inside each egg. Each embryo will become a tadpole. Most species of frogs lay their eggs in water, but the female gastric brooding frog swallows her eggs after the male has fertilized them. The embryos grow inside her stomach. Tadpoles. When a pair of red-eyed tree frogs mate, the female lays the eggs on a leaf that is hanging over water. All amphibians hatch from eggs. Red-eyed tree frog eggs hatch five days after they are laid. A tadpole, not a frog, comes out of each egg. 
the tadpoles fall into the water. A tadpole is the first stage in a red-eyed tree frog's life. Only later will the tadpole become a frog. All frogs begin their lives as tadpoles. Two stages. All amphibians have two stages in their lives. They have a larva stage and an adult stage. In frogs, the tadpole is the larva stage. The frog is the adult stage. Tadpoles are very different from frogs. They have gills for getting oxygen underwater. Frogs have lungs that they use for breathing oxygen from air. The life of a tadpole. Tadpoles must live in water because they have gills instead of lungs. Without lungs, they cannot breathe air. Food. Red-eyed tree frog tadpoles find food near the surface of the water. They eat algae, which are simple plants. They also eat tiny animals, such as the larvae of aquatic insects and dead animals. These animals are mosquito larvae or mosquito young. Red-eyed tree frog tadpoles eat mosquito larvae. Dangers Red-eyed tree frog tadpoles have many predators. These are animals that kill and eat them. Birds and fish eat many red-eyed tree frog tadpoles. Of all the tadpoles that hatch from their eggs, only a few will survive long enough to become frogs. Becoming an adult. The tadpoles become adult red-eyed tree frogs 75 to 80 days after hatching from their eggs. The process of turning from a tadpole into an adult frog is called metamorphosis. To become adults, all amphibians go through metamorphosis. Changes in metamorphosis. As the red-eyed tree frog tadpole gets ready to change into a frog, two back legs begin to grow. Front legs grow two weeks later. The tadpole loses its gills. Lungs grow inside the tadpole's body. That is absolutely fascinating. Leaving the water, the tadpole's head changes shape and its mouth parts are shed. There is a new mouth underneath. Now it is a froglet with a tail. The froglet is a pale blue color. It leaves the water and moves into the damp grass or plants of the rainforest. Soon its tail disappears. At last, the froglet becomes an adult red-eyed tree frog. It spends most of its time in the leaves alongside the pools and creeks of the rainforest. A red-eyed tree frog may live for five to eight years. So let's summarize the reasons why a red-eyed tree frog is an amphibian. Number one, it has a backbone. Number two, it has two stages in its life, a larva stage with gills so it can breathe un underwater, then an adult stage with lungs. Number three, its body may be warm or cool depending on its surroundings. Also, it hatches from an egg that has a very thin skin instead of a shell. As well, it has no scales, hair, or feathers. And lastly, it can take in oxygen through its skin. And before we go, a fun fact about the red-eyed tree frog is that when it leaves, uh, when the froglet leaves and becomes an adult, it actually turns into a brown color before it disappears. Into the rainforest. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for joining me in reading this very exciting text about amphibians, specifically the red-eyed tree frog. Mrs. B, we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.